Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to set up scan to email on your Canon copier. So first off, you're going to need the IP address of the machine. If you don't know that IP, there's a video link in the description that will show you how to get that information. Once you have that, go ahead and open up your web browser and you're gonna type that IP address into the top here. Press enter and you get a login screen. If you have a username and password option, it's administrator for the username and 7654321 for the password. If it's a manager ID and PIN, it should be 7654321 for both of those. If neither of those are working, you may want to check with your IT department or your manager. It may have been changed for security reasons. Go ahead and log in. We're going to go to the settings registration option. And then over here to send and then network settings, email slash fax. And then you can uncheck both of these boxes. And here you're gonna put in your SMTP server. If you don't know any of this information, it depends on who you use for your email service, you may wanna reach out to your IT department. If it's a consumer email provider like Google or Microsoft, you can Google the default SMTP settings for those providers. So I'll use Gmail here and we'll put in the email address, and this is the email address that the copier is gonna to use to send emails. So when you receive the, the scan from the copier, this is the email address that will be listed. All right, and this is the port number. Again, reference either the online materials or your IT department for this. You're gonna to want to allow TLS for most servers, and then if your server requires authentication, check the box here and then input the email address and password. And then you can also confirm the certificate for the server. Once you're finished, go ahead and hit OK. Come back to the network settings. And then you can check SMTP connection. As long as your information is correct and the machine is set up correct as well, then you'll have a connection successful to the machine or to the server. If you get an error message, you may want to check your network settings. You'll want to check the IPv4 settings and make sure that the gateway is correct. And then also that your DNS addresses are in here. So if it's blank and if this doesn't match the IP scheme, you may want to check those and fix that. Then go back in and check the SMTP settings connection. That should be it. You're good to go. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.